You're a dignified woman. Don't look so goofy. Hi. Hello. How are you? Okay, today we're gonna unbox an Integrity doll. I don't remember her name. <laughs> name and I remember thinking oh I should look up the doll's name because I just did a video where I showed like all of my integrity dolls and I talked about this one briefly still didn't look up her name we're gonna unbox her today though she's pink <laughs> she's pink that's all I remember that's all I remember her it's she's in front of the ma the magia the magia I don't know this one magia 2000 I, I remember it being like a whole line there's a whole line of these. Not like a whole line, but there's a few. There's a few of these. They were all really cute. Let's get her out. It's this one. <laughs> it's this one. I think some people might recognize this doll. I don't know. If you don't recognize this doll, that's fine too. She's an Integrity Toys doll. If you're not familiar with Integrity Toys dolls, uh, they're super cute. They're super valuable. She's so beautiful. Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Okay, that's the thing about Integrity Toys dolls, is it's like, sometimes with dolls, you look at a doll and you're like, yeah, like, with a, I feel like with a lot of dolls, like, a face is a face, but it's like, holy shit, the makeup on her face is so soft, and, like, her lips, her lips are, like, it literally looks like, I don't know, it's so subtle, everything's so, like, it's, like, subtle, but also, like, fabulous. Okay, we're gonna take her out of the box real quick, uh, because I have had this doll in box for forever, literally forever, like, I got this doll... I feel like almost a year ago now, and I've just had her sitting in a box, and I was thinking about selling her. She was definitely on the list of dolls I might sell, um, but I will. I would regret it. I know I would regret it, so no, that's not happening. She's not getting sold. She's staying in my collection forever. Okay, great. She's got all kinds of accessories. Let's go through the accessories first. So she has, like, earrings and a... earrings and, like, a hairband thing. Sorry, I'm shaking because I... <laughs> I have a, I have a, I have to get blood drawn in the morning. It's like, I don't know what time it is, 5 a.m. I have no idea. I have to get blood drawn at like 10, so I'm like fasting. But unlike a normal person who like sleeps during the night, I do this. So that's why I'm shaking. Sorry if I'm shaking. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. Earrings and a little comb thing. Oh, she has like, she has multiple sets of earrings. Are you kidding? That's crazy. Okay, she has a pearl necklace, rings, and then more earrings. She has multiple sets of earrings. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to choose which ones to put on. Oh, I hate that. I hate having to choose. Anyway, okay, great. Also, if you're not familiar with these dolls, those little accessories are usually all, they're usually all uh, metal. That's all gonna be metal, I'm sure. I am sure of it. I thought these were pants. I was like, how random. But no, these are like little, little pink stockings. <clears throat> what is my voice doing? Oh no, I hope I'm not getting sick. Oh, I can't afford to get sick. I can't afford it. I'll never recover. Anyway, uh, little pink stockings. <clears throat> my, I'm so sorry because I love pink and I'm like a pink goblin and this whole room is pink. It's so hard for me to show pink things. <laughs> but just for context, the pinks in this in this doll are very subtle pastel pinks. Like, like very, very subtle. Uh, very pastel and pretty. It's giving like Marie Antoinette vibes, I guess, is kind of the idea. She has this tiny little clutch. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know if I'll have her hold it. I, a lot of the clutches, the clutches are super cool because they're literally made of metal most of the time. Like this is actually metal. I'm sure it opens. Like the level of detail in, in these integrity dolls is insane. So it's actually metal. It does open. It's kind of difficult to open, but mostly because it's very tiny. Yeah, it is magnetic. I don't know what the fuck you could put in here. It's a tiny little metal doll clutch. It's like, what can you put in a clutch anyway, but then a tiny doll clutch? Um, but the problem with these little doll clutches is that it's so hard to get them to hold them. It's so hard. You have to really like know what you're doing. And I don't. <laughs> so a lot of times I don't, a lot of times I don't have them hold the little doll clutches, uh, especially those little metal ones. Cause it's just so hard to get them to hold them. Eh. Um, this looks like a, it's like a little doll compact. This is also metal. This is genuinely metal. It's so cool how much how much metal they use in these dolls and their accessories. I'm trying to get it to open. This one might not open. I can't get it to open. It looks like it opens. Like that's why it's that's why it's confusing me because like it looks like it has a little clasp to open, but I can't get this open. So I don't know. It might open. It might fit in the little doll purse. Let's find out. It probably will. I would assume. Ah. <laughs> It's so hard opening little doll little doll accessories 
Yeah. Okay. It does fit in the little doll purse. So that's where it will live probably forever. And I'll probably not use the little doll purse anyway. Let's get her out of the box real quick. I was looking through my integrity dolls and trying to decide which ones I should sell. I don't remember her being super valuable, honestly. Like I, I kind of expected her to be worth more because usually the ones in the big ball gowns tend to become kind of sought after. But yeah, she wasn't, she wasn't like crazy. Like not much more than I paid for her, I don't think. Let's get her stand out. It is a saddle stand. Yay. <laughs> it's fine though, with a dress like this, it shouldn't be a problem. The only problem I've had in the past with saddle stands with integrity dolls is sometimes, oh, this is cute. It's like a little, um, you're probably not gonna see this under the dress anyway, cause it's so big, but it's like a little like hexagon, like a little hexagon. Cute. Integrity Toys dolls always come with these like nice telescoping uh, stands. They do a lot of saddle stands, which is fine. You just have to be careful. Like I feel like if I if I if I there was like if I if I bumped into that shelf up there, literally all of those dolls would fall. <laughs> like all on saddle stands, uh, and those are very expensive. So I would be really upset if that happened. Okay, and then she comes with two pairs of shoes. She has like these big patent leather looking uh, like thigh high boots, and then she has like tinier shoes. The dress itself. Let me get it out. I'm gonna put her in the full gown. So like right now she's just in this like little like cocktail dress thing, which is cute. Like, don't get me wrong. It's cute, but I probably wouldn't have bought the doll if that was her look, honestly. I like a, I like a big gown, a big pink gown. This is the actual dress. We'll take that out in a second. We'll take it out once we get the doll out. I get the feeling the dress may need to be like pressed or steamed. Honestly, uh, cause I hate when they, I hate when they put the dresses in the little packages like that. I understand why they do it. You usually have to do a little bit more work to make them look nice in my experience. So, uh, she does have, uh, she has a hairnet on, which is, that's normal to protect her hairstyle. She also has uh, knee protectors. Usually I would take these off, but I'm going to be putting her in the big gown. So you're not going to see her legs. And in my experience, <laughs> these dolls do stand better with the knee protectors on, on the saddle stands when they're in big gowns. I've regretted taking them off before because they, their legs can bend and stuff like that, obviously, but you don't want their legs to bend when they're in like a giant gown. Um, she's really cute though. And also you can kind of see the, the mint green is like the accent, which is a crazy accent color for pink, but I kind of love it. And then this is the, the skirt, it's covered in uh, beading and embroidery. Like, that's so cool. And some rhinestones, of course, as well. But see, that's the thing. It's like you pay like, you know, a little less than $200 for these dolls, but you, you do feel like you get the value usually, at least I do. I don't know. I feel like they're, I feel like I get the value out of them. Okay, I'm gonna undo, uh, I don't remember what the dress looks like. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna take the dress out first and then we'll decide what shoes to put on her. So this is just like a big shawl, I think, or like a scarf or something, a veil. I think, that, I, guess, I guess this is a veil, a mint green veil. I'm on the fence about how much I like the combination of mint green and pink, um, but I'm gonna display her with it and then we'll see. If I decide I hate the mint green, I'll just put it, I'll just, just you know, put it away later. Okay. Yeah, this is very wrinkled. Oh no, I don't, I didn't really want to have to steam this today. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on her wrinkled. <laughs> I know it's like not the best choice, but we're going to do that. And then we'll see if some of the wrinkles might fall out. They probably won't though, honestly, um, but they might, if they, if the wrinkles do fall out, then great. If they don't, I'll just, I'll come back and steam the skirt later. Um, it's very nice though. Okay. So what this is, this is just a large, uh, circle skirt. Uh, it's a gathered circle skirt to give it extra volume too. Um, so it is a large circle skirt and then there's just extra, it's probably like one and a half circles technically. And then it's like gathered in to make it even more full, which is how they get it so voluminous. And then they've added like little ruffles to the side. That's so cute. I don't know if this is supposed to go over this skirt or under. This piece is a dress, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna put it under and see how I like that. Oh, she does also have uh, panties. 
if you care about that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how many people care about doll panties, but some some people don't know because a lot of times with like Mattel dolls, people are, get used to like, oh, they just paint them on. But a lot of times Integrity will do actual fabric undergarments, which is nice. It, it is nice like to go the extra mile to have that like added that added detail. All right, so I don't think this is how it's intended to be displayed, but let's see how this looks. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that's how this is intended. I think this skirt's supposed to go over the skirt. The, the hemlines just look crazy like that. I mean, I don't know, hold on, let me look at it, let me look at it. It almost creates like a drop waist kind of look, but it does look goofy. It does look goofy. It doesn't look horrible. It's it's not the worst look. It just doesn't look like it's intended. That's obvious. <laughs> that's that's very clearly not how it's intended to look. I just had to check because I can't remember from the photo. I thought maybe they designed it to look like this was like the top of the skirt, but no. It's just weird that they did the, this is like a dress and then a skirt that goes over the dress. That's the part that I'm kind of like, huh? But I guess I kind of get it because the dress does act as like underdressing kind of, like a, like an undergarment. It'll give her a little bit more uh, volume. So I guess I kind of get it. They make the clothes so tight though that trying to overdress a skirt on top of another dress, it's almost impossible. Like that's why I don't understand why they do this either. Cause they, they pattern the clothes to be like the exact right size for the doll's body. And then they're like, and just put two layers on like a girl okay great yeah that's what it's supposed to look like for sure it just looks cleaner okay let's put some boots on i'm very partial to the thigh high boots i know i'm not gonna be able to see them under this dress but if i ever decide to take the skirt off of her i think the thigh high boots look better so we're gonna do the thigh highs they also do have zippers that go up the back that's pretty normal in integrity dolls if they do like a big boot they'll usually do like a zipper on it and then we spend 20 minutes trying to get the zipper open. <laughs> a zipper on a curved boot of this size, it's so hard to open and close. I just realized how crazy this looks, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's fine, trust the process. Everything is so tight in Integrity Dolls that like trying to fit something over something that's not supposed to be there, like the knee protectors, it's like virtually impossible sometimes, but I think I got it. All right, great. So these are what the boots look like on. I know, <laughs> you probably should have put them on before I put the skirt on. That's what they look like on. I think she looks great. Okay. Let me put on her jewelry and then we'll see the final look. I feel like they've made the ear holes easier to penetrate. Yes, I said penetrate. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like, I don't, I don't really know. Like, uh, so there's this. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with this. We'll maybe I'll look at the photos and like look at like what people did with it. But like, I mean, I don't know. Is it just supposed to go onto like her tower of hair? <laughs> I think that looks kind of goofy, but you know, we'll leave it like that for now. That's fine. She's fine. You look great. You look great. See, I feel like it's supposed to go lower down, but I don't know where I can stick it where it's not going to like be crazy. So we're just going to stick it into her hair tower for right now. This gown is huge and splayed out. It's going to look amazing. It's really hard for me to show what the full gown looks like on camera. I always struggle with this because I just don't have things like elevated enough for the camera to see, but I'll try to show it as best I can. The gown looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. I knew it was going to look gorgeous. I always trust integrity to do these, these big gowns. Like, I don't know why it's so hard for doll companies to figure out how to do a big gown. Nice. I think it's cause they're always trying to like cut costs. So they're always, they're always trying to use the minimal amount of fabric possible and a big circle skirt like this. It does take a lot of fabric. It is also lined. Um, but it's not that much fabric. You know what I mean? It's like, it's worth it for the end result. It looks great. So then also she has this like big veil. I literally don't know how this is intended to go on her. Like I saw in the promo photos, I feel like they kind of just draped it over her. <laughs> just like, just like go to sleep, Mary. Oh, and actually, I think that is kind of how they displayed it actually. She's just like a bird. You just put a blanket over her and she'll go to sleep. 
Okay. Yeah, like this is kind of what this is kind of what was happening in the promo photos, and I was like, I mean, I guess this is what it's supposed to look like. I don't like how much it mutes the pink, so I think maybe we can do more like that. Maybe she's gonna fall. <laughs> So I hate saddle stands. Like I wish they would just give a like a waist hugger, because a waist hugger stand would go under this dress just fine, and she would be way more stable. She'd be so much more stable if she was not on a saddle stand. But yeah, I think that looks great actually. I, I'm still not in love with the combination of like mint green and pastel pink. Uh, but they are two of my favorite colors. Mint green and pastel pink are two of my favorite colors. I just don't usually like them like together. <laughs> um but I don't know, I don't hate this. I actually don't hate this. Let me see if I can pose her a little better. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh god, there's something in my eye. I can't have her looking so goofy. You're a dignified woman. Don't look so goofy. <laughs> me, the clown man who plays with the dolls on the internet, judging her. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to try to use this to hold the veil in. Is that the purpose of, of this little comb? I don't want to like, oh yeah. I don't know if that's the purpose, but the mesh on this veil actually is like perfect for, um, it's like the, the whole size is perfect for that tiara to go through. So that actually, that actually holds it in quite nicely. Okay. Maybe that, maybe that is what that was for. Okay. I will say, I wish that the skirt had some sort of understructure. Um, cause with a circle skirt like this, I mean, you can make this like huge. Ooh. She's actually, she's pretty well balanced. It's cause I left those knee protectors on. You can make this huge. If you put something under it, like if you make like some petticoats, this could be enormous if you want it to be. I love her. Oh my God, I'm so glad I decided to keep her. I was really debating selling her, but when I saw that on eBay, she wasn't going for like crazy high prices. I was like, F it. I know I would have regretted selling her anyway. So I'm glad, I'm glad. Okay, great. She looks great. She looks great. Uh, I'm probably not going to have her hold the clutch because, like I said, it's really hard to get these dolls to hold these clutches. But look at her. Also, look at her hands. I don't know if I can get a good shot of her hands. They're so detailed. Oh, there was also rings. Let me put on her. She had more jewelry. Hold on. Mary, you've been doing, you've been working out of the gym too hard. Your neck is too thick. All right. Well, here's the necklace. I literally cannot fit this around her neck. This is the tightest necklace i think it's supposed to be like a choker it's very cute but i literally can't fit it on her so it's not going on her <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm afraid i'm gonna break it if i keep trying to like force it on i could maybe fit it on with like if i put like a string or something to like extend it but like holy shit it really does not want to go on it's like the the necklace is way too way too small and the ring is like too big Ah, once again, me knocking over dolls worth hundreds of dollars. Slay. <laughs> the content that brings you here time and time again. <laughs> me destroying valuable collectibles by accident. Damn, I really want to get that necklace on her, but I really just, I don't have the patience anymore. I've been sitting here filming this video for literally 40 minutes. <laughs> and I just, I don't have the patience anymore to try to get any more tedious items onto this doll. But here she is. Isn't she great? I actually really like her. I'm actually really happy about her. I think she's gonna look great right next to these other beautiful ladies in their gowns over there. All right, I have to I have to stop messing with her. Okay, great. All right, so here she is. I love her. I think she's great. Um, I think she's probably gonna be one of my favorite Integrity Toys dolls, to be completely honest. I love a big gown. I love a pink gown. She's great. She's probably gonna replace that pink gown lady because I'm probably gonna sell her. Sorry, Poppy Parker. Anyway. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, that's cool too, I guess. It's fine, I'm not sad about it. But thank you again for watching. Uh, if you like more dolls, there's more dolls over here. Watch more dolls, there you go. Dolls, 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 dolls. Okay, great, bye.